r slash ask reddit. What's the one thing that blows your mind every time you think about it? How much of our childhood we don't remember. Especially the very early years. The ocean can be as deep as commercial jet cruising altitudes. Imagining all that water above my head. Why isn't there nothing? Why does anything exist at all? That I feel like I didn't really know my parents as well as I thought. About 7 years ago they both passed away 2 months apart from cancer. I have no siblings and was left to clean everything up and take care of their estate and belongings. I found some stuff that I knew nothing about. Now granted. They were being the best parents they could be and sheltered me from a lot of stuff. But sometimes I feel like that sheltering was a disservice. It just blows my mind how the persona left behind after death are not quite the ones I remember living. I miss them both dearly. Edit. Tie for the silver and gold. My first awards here. Death. It's just bizarre. The fact that we don't know for sure what happens after our consciousness leaves the body terrifies me. Another thing that blows my mind is that the space is so large that there is a possibility that there is an exact copy of Earth somewhere out there. Was listening to a podcast and it said something like. Place a grain of sand in your open palm. The sand is the sun your hand is the solar system and the continental United States is the Milky Way. That literally every small decision you've made in life. No matter how insignificant it seemed. Lead you to reading this post and any difference could have altered your life wildly. Every single time I look up into the night sky I'm breathless. I hope I never lose that feeling. Every time I think of a brilliant plan to change the world. I realize there are 7 billion consciousnesses on this planet with different ideals and memories and goals and dreams. DJ Khaled is in some bathroom pointing at his belly in the mirror and saying another one and some Muslim girl is arguing with her dad about wearing hijab when they are alone on the farm doing chores. And some old Japanese man is going to catch his last fish and lay in his bed and die later. It's weird that any of this works at all. At times. The fact that the stars planet celestial bodies we see from earth could be long gone based on the increasingly large amount of time it takes for light to travel from them to us. During the night. Your intervertebral discs relax and expand. That is why you are 1% taller in the morning than in the evening. That for any given one of us. There are quite probably hundreds of thousands of people in the world who would find us attractive and or fall in love with us. And probably millions who we could be close friends with under the right circumstances. And yet so many of us are so lonely. I've posted this before. But it blows my mind how much collective work is put into every single thing around us. Pick up a book. The author was not the only one responsible for it being in your hand. So was the owner of the publishing company. The factory worker making sure it was printing correctly and many others. Look at a building. From the mind of the architect that designed it. The contractor in charge of building it. The construction worker who put his sweat and hard work into those walls. An apple you might have for a snack goes through many people like the farmer. To the distributor. To the grocer that stocked it on the shelf. Pretty much everything around us had so many people working on it. Many that you don't even consider. That's pretty amazing to me. That every living thing ever lived is related to each other. Not in some figurative way. But literally. You and I are related. We're both related to George Washington and Buddha. All of us to the giant redwoods in California. And to your dog. And to the last Tyrannosaurus Rex that died of the meteor strike. We're all related to the trilobites. To common cold virus. And we all go back all the way to that first living thing. This just simply blows my mind. I'm a nuclear engineer. My daughter's studying astrophysics. When she starts explaining the behavior of planet clusters from formation to decay I'm amazed at how similar they act to the nuclei of an atom. Especially in stable isotopes. That if you take all of the other planets in our solar system. Including Pluto. And place them next to each other they will all fit in the space between the earth and the moon. My life experiences are really only significant to me. Other people may listen to me share. But at the core. Everyone is focused on their own experiences, making you feel so insignificant in the sea of other insignificant people. Edit. I am honored that my first gold is for an insightful comment about the significance of life. 
could have been much worse. Much. Worse. Edit 2. Gold and silver. I feel like I've just won jackpot. On my kitchen bench are two cylinders of salt and pepper just casually sitting there. What used to be magic is now an afterthought. Wars have been fought and empires have risen and fallen over these two miraculous products. And now we're so rich we take them for granted and waste them with reckless abandon. This is stuff that men risked sailing into the great unknown on the off chance that they could find a better way to get it and make money from it. Isn't that just capitalism at its purest? Roman soldiers were paid in it. My family. Friends and I all throw them all over our food to enhance it or to disguise my terrible cooking. The modern economics. Logistics and infrastructure involved to enable us to do that. That's just mind blowing. There's a lot more ants than humans. A lot more. Asking. What's your name? Is essentially asking. What noise do I make to get your specific attention? Edit. Thanks for the silver. Kind stranger. That I was born. The chances of that happening are so so small. That one day this human being, me, would leave this world. That I have probably driven past a few houses with kidnapped people being trapped inside. I am a conscious human being who is able to think. My mind. Blows my mind. That out of all the people in the world. My wife agreed to marry me. It's been 12 years and I still can't figure that shit out. How little we think of others when we're living our own lives. Sometimes I just daydream. I'm sitting here having a coffee. But thousands of miles away someone's detailing their car. Someone else is about to get fired. Someone's getting boned. Someone else is unknowingly in the process of changing the world. Just boggles me sometimes to know that there's literally so much happening around the world in any given moment. But we just carry on living like the rest of the world doesn't exist. That it's impossible for me to imagine a new color. That one of my family members could die and someone on the other side of the world would be just a normal day. That for millennia humans were confined to the ground. And in less than 100 years we went from learning to fly to walking on the moon. And how insane that must sound to someone who lived 1000 years ago. People walked on the moon and came back alive and well to tell us about it. The oldest living person has witnessed the deaths of billions of people. We have can go to the moon and walk on the moon and yet windows updates are still atrocious. When a pregnant woman swims they are basically a human submarine. How many chances I must have missed in my life. Edit. So since a lot of you tried to say that I shouldn't be sad about this and live in this time. I just wanted to say thank you. But I didn't want this to be that negative. It's just interesting how different life could have been with a small difference in decisions. But thanks guys. How individual people who are part of a group that does hateful, awful things to others can be so kind and empathic one on one. The converse as well. How people who fight for justice for the downtrodden and devote their lives to activism can be horribly toxic people. Repeatedly hurting those around them for their own gain. How self aware we are and aren't at the same time. When you look in the mirror and think to yourself wow I'm really in this bitch. Out here living in the world. Movies. We've made it so successfully as a species that we have a whole industry and a wealth of jobs just devoted to our long entertainment sessions. How small and insignificant humanity is in the grand scheme of it all. That this newborn I'm holding was inside my body days ago. Also that people push babies that are 2-3 lbs bigger than my newborn in my arms out of their bodies. The amount of people in the world. There are so many people. All different. And unique. There are also people living in completely different situations than you. Who go about their day to day lives way different. All these people and you'll only really meet a fraction of them. That this experience of existence is so deeply tied to both good and bad things. That regardless of how we perceive an event. It is still a part of something so profoundly beautiful and balanced. Even our ability to perceive it comes from cataclysm and extinction. On a cosmic scale. Stars exploded and planets collided to create the conditions that allow us to exist. On a human scale. 
All of the good and all of the bad in history come together to form the life I am experiencing and what I identify as myself could not exist without it. That my older brother actually passed away. I still occasionally wake up in the middle of the night thinking he's alive and have to remind myself he iced. The fact that when we sing, we just hit the notes we're supposed to. It's not like I can look at the frets on a guitar or the keys on a piano to figure it out. My voice just does it. This keeps me up at night. How small children learn. I'm talking like 2-4 years old. In that time, they internalize concepts like language. How they are a separate entity from everyone else. Risk versus reward. They take in so much information and turn it around to use it in such little time. It's absolutely boggling to me. Random times while I'm driving. I'll think about the other 30 people around me all going about 70 miles per hour on the highway. Staying in the lanes and still being 4-6 feet away from touching other cars. How is it possible we can manually operate machines going at speeds incomprehensible 100 years ago without killing everyone around us? Right now is the youngest you'll ever be for the rest of your life. And the oldest you've been so far. How well mathematics describes the natural world. For example, it amazes me that four little equations describe the behavior of electromagnetic radiation, or how gravity can be so well described by one simple equation. How insanely random it is that my kids are who they are. It's just one single moment. One gamete meets another and becomes a cell. And from there, they're growing into people with personalities and their own lives. It amazes me every time I look at them. All words are made up. The fact that the universe is 14 billion years old. And I am 21 and think that. Damn 2010 was a lifetime ago. Relativity. Still remember walking out of my year 12 physics class after learning about it for the first time and not being able to focus on anything else for the rest of the day. Wowie. How hands move just by us thinking about it. It's pretty rad. Ellen is 60 years old. It blows my mind how much time I've wasted over the years. Also how the worst years in my youth were some of my happiest and how I might look back later wishing my life sucked as much as it does now. The universe is expanding so presumably its outer edges are pushing into. Nothingness. I just can't grasp the concept of void. Like literal particles of matter are touching nothing. Not just empty space but nothing. I am the main part of my dog's life. The butterfly effect. About 6 years ago at about 3am in a side alley in Auckland. New Zealand I was mugged for everything I had on me. The police came. Took me back to the station and did the whole crime report process. After it was all done. I declined the offer of a ride home. And got my friend to pick me up instead. On the way home. We got a flat tire and had to pull over and knock on someone's door asking for help since we had no tools to change our flat. A woman opened the door and got her brother to help us out. Talked to her ETC and grabbed her number. Six years later we have a seven month old daughter and I couldn't be happier. The size of the galaxy and universe. I can't even begin to comprehend it. That everyone has their own life and I'm a side character. If you want to get nothing in return, you can like and join my discord, there is a link in the description.